Today is Tuesday, January 5th, 2021. We're five days into the new year. Today we're going to be doing kumitachi ikkyo. Kumitachi is usually a paired practice where one person is striking and the other person is doing a technique. Today we're not going to be doing the paired practice. I'm just going to show you the movements of kumitachi ikkyo, the first part, and we'll go over them a hundred times. I really enjoy doing the Vlogmas challenge and doing a video every single day for the first 24 days of December. It was challenging, it was fun, it really got me thinking about things that I can do to get better at Aikido, but more important is things that you can do to get better at Aikido. So I've decided for 2021 I'm going to put up two videos a week and I'll have a release time set for Tuesdays and Thursdays at 7 p.m. This is my, my kind of like new year goal or resolution to try to get these up. I can't promise you that they'll go up, but that's my intention. So every Tuesday and Thursday, I'll have a video so that you guys can get better at Aikido. Let's get started with today's technique, which is Kumitachi Ikkyo, the first part. Grab your bokuto, your sword, your wooden sword, and we will go over Kumitachi Ikkyo, the first part. There's only two basic moves that you need to know, and of course the, the footwork. Now remember, in Kamai, fighting stance, we're going to be shoulder width apart. I'm kind of facing you, I'm facing the camera, I'm pretending as if you or the camera is striking at me. And I pull my foot back. I get into Chudan, middle position, and remember, um, you have to hold your sword correctly. So if you haven't watched that video, check out that video on how to hold the samurai sword. Maybe I'll try to put a link to it right up above here with one of those info cards that come out. So get in your chudan position, bend that knee, make sure that knee is bent. Remember, the knee is bent when the sword perpendicular to the ground touches the ground. I, I think I've said that in almost every single video. I, I can't stress this enough how important it is to make sure that your knees are bent. Sword and chudan. Now, this hand, remember, is the hand that controls the bokuto, the sword. So we're going to push this hand up as we push this hip forward, right? So we're here, this hand pushes up as this hip pushes forward. This is kind of like the block, keep everything centered. Push the sword up, lift up, pull your left foot back, and strike, right? Now, you were coming at me, so imagine if someone's striking at you, they're coming at you. So the angle is gonna be here instead of here. So you're a little bit off. Maybe maybe that's like a 30 degree angle off and you're trying to get out of the way so you don't get hit from the strike. Let's go over that one more time. You're here and you're going to push this hand up, push this hand up, pushing this hip forward, pushing deeper into that bend of the knee, going down, push up, draw that left foot back and strike. Okay, that's two moves. So you're here, one, Two is ikkyo, the first part. It's really basic, really easy. Now we have to do it over and over and over again. So let's deliberately practice this together. Let's do it 100 times together. And of course, don't forget, after doing this 10,000 times, you'll become an expert of this movement. It's all about refining. This is meant to be done with a partner. So right now we're just learning the form and then you do it with a partner so that you have someone actually striking at you so you can actually get a feel for where you need to be when that person is striking and where that person is striking. Okay, let's get, to get, let's get started. So, ichi, ni, san, shi, go, Look, Shichi, Hachi, Kyu, Ju, Juichi, Juni, Jusan, Jushi, Jugo. Juroko, Jushichi, Juhachi, Jukyu, Niju, Nijuichi, Niju, Ni, Niju San, Niju Shi, Niju Go, 
二十六二十七二十八二十九三十三十一三十二三十三三十四三十五三十六三十七三十八三十九四十四十一四十二四十三四十四四十五四十六四十七四十八四十九五十 We've done fifty so far, and remember, you we're just. It doesn't have to be perfect. We're just practicing the motion of going and then striking, and then I'm coming back to the same spot. Okay, just to kind of realign. I don't have much space in here, and you know we're focused on practicing at home, so you got to kind of use the space that you have wisely. Okay, let's do the last fifty again. Ichi, right? Push that up. Push that up. Right and strike. Knee. Sun, she, go, look, she, hatch, Q, Ju, Juich, Juni, Jusan. Ju si, ju go, ju roku, ju shichi, ju hachi, ju kyu, ni ju, ni ju ichi, ni ju ni, ni ju san, ni ju si, ni ju go. 二十六二十七二十八二十九三十三十一三十二三十三三十四三十五三十六三十七三十八、三十九、四十、四十一、四十二、四十三、四十四、四十五、四十六、四十七、四十八、四十九、五十。All right, congratulations, guys! If you did that with me, that was 100 repetitions of Kumitachi Ikkyo, the first part. Boy, your legs should be burning. Notice how I was really focusing and practicing my kokyu. I'm winded. You know, we just did 100. Maybe it took two or three minutes, and I'm winded. This is like those famous six-minute workouts. If you go on the internet and you can get fit in six minutes a day, boy, do this six minutes a day. And you will get really good at Aikido. Congratulations on completing those with me. This was again Kumi Tachi Ikkyo, the first part. In another video, we'll do the. I'll show you the paired practice. And again, we'll do another hundred strikes. And keep in mind, after ten thousand strikes, you'll become an expert at this. And there's so many strikes. There's so many ten thousand strikes to do. But basically, focusing on the body, the movement of the legs, the movement of the hips, and keeping your back straight. Then, when you've got ten thousand strikes on this one, and you've got ten thousand strikes on Shomenuchi, and you've got ten thousand strikes on Sankyo, you've become an expert at three strikes. But you've done the same movement thirty thousand times, which means you'll be even better at it. Please remember to subscribe to the channel, hit that thumbs up, 
hit the notification bell and comment, leave a comment below. Those comments, subscribing to the channel and hitting that notification bell kind of tells YouTube that, hey, this content is good and we want to push it out to more people, which helps me a lot. So if you can do that, I, I really appreciate it. Also, I love to hear your feedback on the comments below. I try to answer every single comment that I get. I look forward to seeing you on Thursday. We'll be doing another strike, maybe with the sword, maybe with the Joe. I'm not sure yet, but we'll find out on Thursday. See you soon.